Okay guys, today I'm going to show you a smart doormat that I've made, so when you stand on it, this happens. And you also get a notification on your phone. So I'm going to run you guys through how I make this. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to make a Wi-Fi security mat. What we're using is this um, <laughs> Wi-Fi door window alarm. I got this from Kmart, but um, there is another one you can get. It just has to work with this um, Smart Life, even though it's a smart home, but Smart Life app. And um, what essentially we're going to make is a doormat. So if someone stands on it, you get a notification on your phone. And you can also set up a Wi-Fi alarm, which I'll show you guys later. So what you need is one of these. And this I got today in the mail. Okay, so it's a, it's a big mat. But it has a few cables coming out of it. All right, so we're going to have to work out which one of these is the switch. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this out. Okay. So I made one of these before, but I use a completely different system, but this is pretty much like the, the same thing. So we're going to work out how to do this. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because we have a bit of a problem in Townsville with theft, so I want to stop them before getting into the house. So I wanted to... Um, have some systems in place where alarm goes off before entering a premise because having just this means they've already opened your door so you're already losing there and um, having motion sensors that go off we have a bird that plucks bugs off the fly screen and um, it's going to get set off from that and it's a bit unreliable to have, use a motion sensor for an alarm system so alright let's get started okay so it's going to open up this Pull this one out. All right, we don't need this part here. And this is the part that we need. Now this is was a bit tricky to open, I remember from last time. So there's a little button on top and that opens up the battery compartment. This always feels like it's gonna snap. There we go. Okay, now we need to open up this part here. You gotta use the <laughs> right tool for the job. Okay, so you got that side. Okay. Carefully open that up. <clears throat> All right, so what you can see here, this is the magnetic switch in there. There's just a, uh, a switch that where, when the magnet comes close, it just closes the circuit. So we're just gonna use this circuit here. That's all that we're gonna do, pretty simple. All right, but um, first we need to work out which one of these wires we're gonna solder onto this little switch here. So I'm hoping <laughs> this is not any good. All right, so, okay. Two of these are for running power and two of these are for a switch. I might chuck some batteries in here and do some some testing. And it's going to go into the Smart Life app. Going to add add this device. 
and security sensors and here okay guys what I'm doing here I'm looking for the type of security sensor that it is and it's just a um this one here I can't remember what it's called but anyway so I I've already put other things onto the system so you have to enter in your Wi-Fi password and there's two ways of setting this up I've just set it up this um there's like a quick quick way of doing it so the other way is um, you have to connect to the device's Wi-Fi and then and then um, and then it'll go through and set it up um, this takes a little bit so um, sometimes it, it's pretty quick and, and sometimes it's not so now it's done and it's starting to work okay guys name it to door Okay, so okay, I didn't want to bore you guys, so fast forward, forward through this. So I added some uh, little connectors, so I can connect to the little thing, little sensor, much easier. And then I eventually found the right combination for the switch. Open. All right, so. I found that these two wires coming from this end, this is the actual switch for the mat. So when I push down on the mat, <laughs> okay, it's a bit slow. It takes, there's a bit of delay in it. This is open, pushing down. Close. And then open. All right, so it's working. So, all right. It's a matter if I want to extend these cables because I have to put this in sort of inside a um, <clears throat> a waterproof um, pouch because this is going to be outside. I need it to be waterproof, and I'm going to have to make a waterproof pouch. I've bought a poncho. I'm going to cut that up, make a bag, and then it's going to be. Um, like fold it up so it's a bit like one of those waterproof bags that you buy. All right, so next thing to do is to solder this one up. All right, let's get started on that. So disconnect everything. All right, so I didn't want to bore you guys to death with my, my excellent soldering skills. So all I've done was added a bit of solder to the end of the wire. So it's just a little bit easier to join all up. And then, um, so I'm doing that now. I'm just soldering it to where the, magnetic sensor is and now um, I'm putting the case on I realize I have to make a little little groove in the case for the wires so I'm just um, uh, cutting the plastic with one of these plastic cutters it's just a head on the on my solder that I have and then I realized I didn't go down further enough so I had to pull it apart again and go a bit deeper um, then it was a real pain to get back on again because um, I broke the little clip on top so I had to like Get it all back together, but it all works in the end. That was that wasn't right. <laughs> all right, so the batteries they're here. Let's make sure it's still working. Cause... All right, yep, still working. It's quite a resilient little unit. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> doormat okay it's working so if I put weight on it all right I'll quickly explain what's happening here um, it looks like it's not working but I haven't allowed enough time for when I put the batteries in for the system to connect to the to the Wi-Fi and also um, connect through the cloud that it's connected through through the app so it can start working properly okay all right so I got it back together again it was a bit fiddly to get it back together again because of this 
top spring to open up the battery lock, but we don't really need that anymore. Okay, so here it is. It's working. I'll push down on it. There we go. It says it's closed. And let go of it. <clears throat> there is a bit of delay in, in the system. Okay, so we can put this back on. And um, what I did last time, I just taped this one up to keep it sealed. That's all good. All right. So now we have to build a little case for this. <laughs> um, and then a, a waterproof bag and then put it in place and we'll program it with the alarm and I'll show you how all, all that's done. Okay, so I filmed making this bag, but it didn't work at all. The glue didn't stick to the material. I end up just um, using the heat gun to sort of melt the edges together and then I use a zip tie to hold it all. It's not what I wanted, but I'll have to go back and make something else up. All right, so <laughs> I did skip this little bag getting made because um, it didn't quite work out. It didn't really stick together, so I've just wrapped it up in the, in the plastic and zip tied it together for now. Um, I will have to try and get a case made up for it so it is waterproof, but that's a problem for another day. Um, all right, so I've got my phone on there just to show you the notification. So I just stepped on it. Now there is a bit of delay with these products, but they're not too bad. So there we go. We've got two notifications that the door was open and closed. Okay. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this alarm that I've got, this Wi-Fi alarm. Okay. See, so this is it here. This is the Wi-Fi alarm. In my phone, it's under, under siren. Okay, so it's got a few different settings on here. You can have different alarms going off. The more alarm ones are um, just in the settings here. So you got all different ones. Okay, that's like range from dog barking to songs to doorbell sound. So when it goes on, you can see it. Yeah, it's pretty damn loud. Okay, so what you want, I've already set up a few scenarios here. So an automation. All right, I'm going to put on, I'll, I'll, it's this one here, it's an alarm, but I'm going to start it from scratch, okay, with that doormat that we got. So you got here, add a condition, okay, and we want device, and we want doormat, okay, so switched, open, and we'll also, just for extra security, switch closed and then what action do we want we want device okay and then siren we want the sound type sound type 8 that's more of a siren sounding and alarm period probably for let's just go 60 seconds save alarm switch on save next okay alarm i'm going to just put here alarm confirm i just shot this all handheld so sorry if it's a bit wobbly and save okay so now when we step on this doormat Gonna get ready. There you go, the siren's gone off. Turn that off. Thanks for watching the video. I'll put a link to all the products I've used in the description below. If you have any questions, just comment and I'll get back to you. Also, it'd help out heaps if you subscribe. It's a brand new channel and I'll be making more videos like this in the future.